How's it going everybody? It's Philip back again with another vlog and today is going to be another presentation of how I prepare for a college basketball broadcast and I just want to note before I go any further with the vlog I am shooting this on my phone for some reason my video camera didn't want to cooperate today so we're gonna give it a shot on the phone but I wanted to make sure I get this vlog out to you guys because today is very special like tonight I'm calling I'm gonna be on a call for another St. John's men's basketball game but it will not be at Carnegie Arena this time. This, it will actually be at the Barclays Center down in Brooklyn. So oh, St. John's going to play tonight in what is called the Empire Classic. It's a preseason tournament. And they're going to go up against the Temple Owls of the American Athletic Conference. So I'm going to be on the call for that game tonight with uh, my roommate Jay on WSU Sports Radio, as always. So right now I'm about to leave campus and... I have to head on over to Brooklyn to the Barclays Center. And, uh, yeah, when I get there, that'll be the next time you guys will see me. So, uh, yeah, just want to make sure I bring out this vlog uh, to you guys because, you know, it's not every day you get to call a game inside an NBA arena. So, yeah, we're going to do our best with our phone, with my phone. And, uh, yeah, I'm just really excited about tonight. And uh, so let's see St. John's get a win. Alright, so we made it to Brooklyn finally. It was a long subway ride. But uh, yeah, we're here and right now we're standing outside Barclays Center. You can see they're right there behind me. I mean, this is actually my first time ever coming here. So yeah, I mean, and words don't do justice how it looks from the outside. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, the game doesn't start in about like another few hours. Actually, pretty late game. We're actually the last game on the card for tonight. It's St. John's the Temple. That's a 9:30 game. Then 7:30 is going to be Syracuse and Richmond, who are also playing in this tournament with us. So uh, I'm just going to you know wait around here for a bit. Probably you know see if we get a early access to you know go inside the arena if we can before I get go get my credentials that I need to be able to get in. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun night, and uh, yeah, can't wait to see what this place looks like on the inside. Back to the 
been doing that for four years. Number 15, double touch. Four, Most of them uh, with rebounds left. each and every day. Uh, uh, as I said last, last year we didn't make those plays. This year we got I think we got some guys in position that can, can make plays for us. Uh, uh, you look at even the free throw line. We made some free throws more down the stretch. Uh, <clears throat> but that's what they gave us. They gave us the lanes. Uh, we put their big guy in the screen and roll and uh, he saw the gap and uh, he finished off the play. Uh, that's, that's what it's all about making good decisions and uh, uh, yeah, that's that's what he does. And I, and I think the beauty of it is you know, he could have easily passed it off to somebody, you know. Uh, you know, you look back at some of the plays that took place in the game. I think we're up maybe two or three, and he gets a side screen, and he gives the ball up to Omar. Omar gets to the hole wide open. I mean, those are the kind of things. And, and you see him playing on defense all the time. Uh, I just think, again, uh, these guys are learning each other. When you talk about he and Posh and, and Montez. I know Montez had a really, really outstanding game tonight. I mean, he, he looked like a poor senior. Everybody, <clears throat> so I just made it back to campus. And um, I'm going to make this really short and sweet because I'm very tired. It's like already 12.30 a.m. right now. We had a late start uh, for the game. It was 9.30 a.m. start, or 9.30 p.m. start, excuse me. <clears throat> and the first game was Syracuse and uh, Richmond uh, went to overtime. That was a crazy game. But for St. John's, we uh, outlasted against Temple. We beat them 78-72. So that means we get to play Syracuse tomorrow against Jim Beheim, a longtime coach there and his squad. Uh, I know it's definitely going to be a very exciting game there. I'm not going to be on the broadcast for that one, but I will be doing the social media work for the uh, WSU sports account. So that's I'll be doing, but uh, yeah, uh, kind of. Uh, there you have it. You know that's how the night went. You know, uh, broadcasting game inside an NBA arena, Barclays Center. Uh, first time being there ever. Say so it's a really nice venue, uh, well put together, and uh, yeah, you know, uh, interesting to see what uh, what other things may happen in the future there if I end up going back there. But uh, yeah, it was a great night. Um, late night that so I'm walking back to my dorm right now and right when I get back probably gonna get, I'm gonna get out of this suit and then I'm gonna go straight to bed but just want to say thank you to everybody for watching this vlog if you watch to the end thank you uh, make sure to like comment subscribe share and uh yeah uh more vlogs gonna be coming pretty soon and uh yeah may see some other content going up on the channel but, uh yeah it's been Philip and this Hope to see you guys on the next one.